Here you are another night. You're on the miraculous, and I'm so excited to be here. As you know, I've been telling you, one word from God can change your life. I don't believe you're watching by accident or by coincidence. But you know, this is that season. Supposedly, love is in the air. You know, they say Valentine's Day is coming up. But beside all of that, I want you to know that God has something special for your life. You know, the little things that we think are so insignificant and that we don't spend time on or that we don't talk about. I want you to know that God is concerned about it. God is concerned about you being happy. He's concerned about you having joy. He's concerned about you having peace. And guess what? God wants you to be whole. You know, that woman with the issue of blood, not only was she healed, but the Bible lets us know that she was made whole. And today I want to talk to you because God wants to make you whole today. Well, since it's February the 14th coming up, Valentine's Day, I have some friends with me here that I want to talk about. I want to talk about relationships. I want to talk about this love thing or this marriage thing or this monogamy thing. I really want to talk about it because we don't deal with it. And sometimes in the church, we stray away from it. But there are so many people in the body of Christ who have learned how to cope with their dysfunction. Believe it or not, God wants you happy. God wants you whole. God wants you to be married. Some of us, you know. Believe it or not, I'm going to be married one day. One day, way in the future, way in the future. <laughs> but praise God, we're just excited because I know something good is going to happen for you today. I literally feel a turn and a shifting. You know, last time I was here, I told you that the Spirit of God said that this is a season where He just wants us to worship Him and to be at rest. And it's not by accident you're watching, and I hope you're listening because the things that I've been telling you are going to come to pass. We're already seeing a manifestation of those things coming to pass. And you got to know this. Number 23, 19. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have they spoke it, shall he not do it? Have they said it, shall he not make it good? I'm glad to serve a God who does absolutely everything he says he's going to do. Well, listen, I don't want to talk too much right now. But I'm asking you to get a hold of everybody you know. Tell them to turn to the Word Network, whether it's on Direct TV, I think that's 373, if it's on Comcast or something, 247, I don't know, whatever channel it is, 575, I think that's local, I don't know. But anyway, if you have the Word Network, I'm asking you to right now dial your friend, tell them to turn to it, maybe go to your phone, download the Word app, and you can look at it live, right there from your cell phone. You can be in church. I'm not advising you to do that. Put the headphones in while you're doing whatever you're doing and look at it. Don't look at it while you're driving because you know I get happy every now and then. But I'm asking you, go ahead, tell everybody you know, turn to it. They still got some time. I have some wonderful guests that it's going to blow your mind, the things that we're going to talk about today. Are you ready? Well, up until then, right now, let's get ready for... A G and the praise team. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. God bless you. Come on, somebody put those hands again. Oh, 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 oh,
Lord, you are good, and your mercy endureth forever. Come on, let's give them one more hand for that. Great selection. That was a weak hand clap. I say, let's give them one more hand for a glorious election. God bless you. Listen, I have with me here somebody who I've, I've known actually a while now. I went down to Jacksonville. Now, you know, I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, but I went to Jacksonville, North Carolina and did a meeting there for her and met her some time ago. She has a wonderful testimony uh, of what God has done in her life. And I really kind of just want to give her liberty to talk about it because, you know, Prophet Karin gets in trouble a lot because I, I deal with this thing that you church folk scared to talk about, homosexuality. You know, I still believe the word when it says if a man lays with another man, it's an abomination. Now, I believe that. Now, I don't know what revelation y'all came up with. And if you ever tell me, I, I'll submit to it. But last time I read, God always designed for man and woman to be together. Not two men and two women. But we have here somebody who God has delivered from homosexuality. I mean, completely delivered. I'm not talking about she say she delivered. I mean, God completely delivered her. And she'll talk in a minute, but I mean, we got the pictures of the before and the after. I'm going to let her talk. Come on, let's give Brenda Burton a great big God bless you, Pastor. God Woman of God. God How are you? I'm doing wonderful. It's so I'm good to wonderful. see you. Thank you for the invitation. Of course. How you been? I've been doing wonderful. Are you still in Jacksonville, North I'm Carolina? I'm in Greensboro, North Carolina. You're in Greensboro? Yes, sir. How's God been treating you? He's been doing well. I'm for working, real? He's been doing well, I'm telling you. I'm working on my fourth book. The fourth one? The fourth one. So we got, we got, Amen. she has a, she has three books called Transformation, one, two, and three. Uh, before we get into it, I want, I, I, listen, every person who has any individual in your family, who's struggling with the spirit of perversion. Yes. Because at the end of the line, that's what it is. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Homosexuality is the manifestation, but mm -hmm. the root of it is perversion. Yes. And uh, I, I want you, if you don't have this, I believe this book will change their life. How can they order it? Can they go to uh, the website? Is, oh, they can go to, they can email me or dial my number. Uh, just click on Brenda Burton. Once you click on Brenda Burton on the internet, everything will come up. Everything will uh, come up. Transformation Ministries, it'll come up. Well, talk to us. Tell us Amen. your story. What, Amen, what happened? Talk to him. Amen, prophet. You know, I long for my father's love. I long for his, his love. I long for him to just hug me. That's all I wanted him to just love me. And because I didn't have my father's love, along with the molestation that took place with my uh, female cousin when I was three, then I figured, hey, my father didn't love me. I didn't get that love. Then rejection set in. And from the rejection, then I wanted to be a boy. You know, I, I was acting like a tomboy growing up. Everybody kept saying, tomboy, you nothing but a tomboy. And so as I got older, I said, well, I might as well be a boy. And so because I wanted my father's love, I never got that hug from him. Yeah. That's all I wanted. And because this is love month, I'm here to tell the people, if you are a father, if you have a daughter, you are the first one to affirm your daughter. You are the first one to affirm your daughter. So love your daughter. Love your daughter. Hug your daughter. Because that's all I wanted was the love for my father. All you wanted was daddy to love you. Yes, yes. So we have a place where dad didn't love you. That's right. Molested by a cousin, I believe you said. Female cousin. Okay, female cousin. Yes. Then keep going. Tell us the story. And, and, and so after that took place, after the female cousin, you know, she molested me, raped me at the age of three because that's what it was. It was rape. It was not molestation. Yeah. It went on for a while. And then um, I went to college, and I started dating my professor. That's what happened. And so that's when I really began to uh, do the act. Yeah. of living the lifestyle of a lesbian. Yeah. Amen. And so, uh, but God, I tell you what, I lived that life for over 10 years. I moved to New Orleans, and I just, you know, they told me in the gay club, you know, I used to be the video person at the gay club. So amazing. I used to be on the other side of the camera. Now I'm on this side. And I used to video all the gay shows, you know. And um, and they used to tell me, well, if you're going to be at the gay club, you got to dress the part. Either you're going to be butch 
uh, you're going to be fish. Yeah. You know, prophet B Butch is the man. It's the woman who want to play the man role. It's the Butch. Yeah. Okay. And fish is the woman who looks like me now. Yeah. Amen. Who want to play the woman role. Yeah. And so a lot of times, you know, we're so quick to say, uh, we see the Butch. We see the person who put uh, uh, the butch person. Yeah. You know they they recognized me. Yeah. Back in the day because you you know I wasn't hiding anything. But what about the fish? What about the one who's sitting in the church looking like me now, who's living the lifestyle, but you don't see them? Yeah. Or the man with the big muscles, the football player. Yeah. That you don't see him, but you recognize the tray, or you recognize the gay man, or the queer, yeah. as you should say. Yeah. But I got into the lifestyle, started living the lifestyle with my professor and, and moved to New Orleans. So, I mean, just, I threw all the way my neutral clothes. That's what I used to wear, neutral clothes. So I began to buy all, nothing but men clothes. And yeah. that's all I wore. I mean, I don't, I don't know how close we can get up on this um, book. I don't know if it's possible how close we can do it. But I mean, God brought her from a mighty long way. Should I use this one over here? Yeah. I mean, if you look at this book, you see the before and the after. Uh, how God is completely uh, set her free. Well, I, I want you to help me because I'm 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 very hard on certain <laughs> things. Yeah. I want you to rebuke me if I need to be rebuked. Okay, <laughs> but what was the turning point? Did you need somebody to? What did the harsh message? Did it help you? Because I I've talked to some people who God has delivered. They said I needed somebody to tell me like it was. Well, so talk, talk well, to not me. with me. I, my, my sister used to always say, she's a preacher. She used to say, you're going to hell. Okay. And so I was, I, I didn't pay it any attention because I was like, really? You know, she didn't show me the word, but it was the word of God. One day when I saw the word of God, um, let me just back up. The last love I had, she walked out the door and said, you know, she was a backslider. And she said, God said, it's time to go. And I said, forget God. I was like, Saul. I yeah. said, forget God. I'm here. You ain't got to leave me. And she said, no, God won't let me go. He, uh, he won't let me stay here. So she decided to leave. And when she decided to leave, I put the gun to my head ready to end my life. And I heard the voice of God say, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Wow. And let me tell you something, prophet. That's when I challenge God. That's when you challenge. I challenge God. Because, see, I thought I was just like the rest of the people out here in the world today i thought i was born gay okay i thought i was born gay i was getting ready to marry my last lover i was getting ready to have a sex chain because i thought i was born gay yeah i thought god made me like that but the word of god it was the word of god that changed Glory me to god. it was the word of god praise the lord it was the word of god and um, hearing this preacher, Bishop Paul Sylvester Martin, on the okay. radio, yes, and he was talking about homosexuality and, and how it was a sin. And I said, wait a minute. You tried to tell me that what I'm doing with this woman is a sin. I love her. Yeah. This love month, right? <laughs> yeah. I said, I love her. Yeah. You trying to tell me this is a sin. I'm just in love with one woman at a time. And you telling me this is a sin? Yeah. But I saw the word of God. I turned to Leviticus. Yeah. And I saw the word. 2013 yeah i turned to leviticus chapter 22 i saw the word of god said if you lie with another man as you lie with a woman kind it is abomination yeah then i turned to romans then i said okay what well, they talking about they ain't talking about me but when i got to romans chapter one yeah and it said men working with men yeah you know working is one of the terms that the gay community use yeah you know they say we're gonna work you yeah that, that, that seduce you that's what they mean wow and so the bible say men working with men that which is unseemly in romans so if a man never one. come to me and tell me he gonna work me something wrong with that man. yeah yeah you better okay. watch it now uh, okay. I'm, I'm, you better okay. watch it now i need all them clues Praise that's God. right they also say softball too prophet they say softball yeah we want to play some softball we'll they're not talking about a ball <laughs> so you gotta watch it prophet they got Praise all kind of terms God, yes <laughs> they got all kind of terms wow. but but I, I saw the word of god and i said lord and it said women leaving a natural loose yeah. natural use of a, a man yeah. and i said oh god is talking about me and i told god i said if i challenged him because i did not believe that he could deliver me i did not believe he can change me so i told him i said if you can take the desires away from me for a woman then i'll serve you and he did it and he did well i want to talk did. now he did all of that 
are in these books. Yes, it is. Now, God saved you. Yes. God delivered you. Yes. He set you free. Yes. Then what? Then let me tell you something. You know, you always have all kind of people in the world. Y'all got to hear this, y'all. You got to hear it now. You know, um, in my second book, that's transformation too. So, so one is talking about the deliverance, come out the world, come out. Right? Before salvation. Before salvation. And, mm -hmm, and then when God called me to preach. Okay, let's go to number two. Number two goes from 1999 to 2005. Okay. Now, granted, I didn't know I was going to be writing a second book, but God said, you're going to put it in the book. Wow. Okay, so they got as I'm traveling and, and preaching everywhere, and, and, you know, I had my guard up for lay people. Yeah. Because they didn't want to be seduced. Yeah. But then I had my, you know, my guard down for preachers. Uh-oh. For pastors. Uh-oh. For prophets. Yeah. For apostles. For yeah. bishops. Yeah. So one day, I got seduced by a woman bishop. I have a chapter and chapter uh, in Transformation 2 called what When the Enemy. What you mean you got seduced by a woman bishop? I, I need to know what you mean by that now. I got seduced by a woman bishop. I used to be the seducer. Yeah. Let me just tell you that when I was in the life. So I didn't see it coming. I didn't even see it coming. So then God began to tell me, you're going to put your mess in the book. And so I have a chapter called When the Enemy Comes In when a call in a room. See, God told me, he said, you better have your guard up for everybody. I don't care who they are. Wow. I don't care who they are. Wow. And so I got seduced. I didn't think I would be putting it in a book, but God said, oh, yeah, you're going to put it in a book. Wow. Oh, you're going to put your mess in a book. Wow. To let them know, yeah, you are human. Yeah, and then when I fell and, and all that happened, I stopped being having all uh, just coming against people and having a little mercy for them. Because yeah. I like to say, how dare you fall? Don't you supposed to love God? How dare you fall? Don't you feel with the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Then God had to say, okay, I'm going to show you. Yeah. You know, because when you begin to come against people and when you begin to think you hide than they are, then God will say, lest you all say fall. Yeah. What the scripture said right. about if a brother is overtaken in a fault, you, you spiritual. with your spiritual restore such a one. That's right. Let's see also fall. That's right. Well, see, I had the little fall. Wow. And so it was a good thing. I, I say, I tell, you know, when it took place, I didn't think it was a good thing. Yeah. But after I say it's a good thing that I fail. All things were It's together. a good thing that I fail. That's right. Because now I know I'm not going that route anymore. Now I know I'm not going that route anymore. It, 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 you were seduced by a woman bishop. Was it sneaky? Was it conniving? Did you tell them no? They continued to pursue you. What happened with that whole process? Well, you really want to get into the book, but I, I, I'll tell you a little bit. Just a little I, bit. I, of I, I can hear, I can hear my old armor bearer Debbie saying, "Don't be saying so much because then they won't buy the book." Yeah. But anyway, you know, I, I can tell you that that even up until the point, I was still calling her bishop. Yeah. I was still saying, yes, Bishop. You know, serving the woman of God because she yeah. came to town. Yeah. She wasn't my guest, but I was just going with her to preach yeah. uh, to go to another service. So she began to tell me, you know, um, her car broke down. It might have been a setup. I don't even think her car broke down. Yeah. But she faked like her car broke down because the next day it started it up. So I don't know. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know, but the car broke down, and so wow. she had nowhere to stay. She was from out of state, checked into the hotel, and, and, and she said, well, don't leave, don't leave, and broke it down. And I was like, okay, and she was just laughing, laughing. I'm Stop laughing. Stop right there. Because we're going to hear some more from you in a few. Because I really want y'all to understand something. The enemy is strategic. Yes. He goes about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. See, I, I know you think you're strong, and I know you got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues and bucking and shout, but the devil knows what's wrong with you. He don't know your future, but he knows your weakness. He knows what God has delivered you from. We're going to talk later, but listen, I need you, if, if you want to know the rest of this, I, I need you to get this. You, you, you need to get these books. Again, she said, go on any search engine and type in Brenda Burton. Mm -hmm. Transformation, the whole thing will come up. I believe the website will come up. You can call her, whatever it is. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like while she was talking, somebody got set free. You, you are not Thank born you, a homosexual. God wants to deliver you. Come on. Well, because of this, God set her free. And guess what she's doing? She's chasing after God with every fiber of her being. Come on, AG and the praise team. God bless you.
don't spend time on or that we don't talk about. I want you to know that God is concerned about it. God is concerned about you being happy. He's concerned about you having joy. He's concerned about you having peace. And guess what? God wants you to be whole. You know that woman with the issue of blood, not only was she healed, but the Bible lets us know that she was made whole. And today I want to talk to you because God wants to make you whole today. Well, since it's February the 14th coming up, Valentine's Day, I have some friends with me here that I want to talk about. I want to talk about relationships. I want to talk about this love thing or this marriage thing or this. so excited to be here. As you know, I've been telling you, one word from God can change your life. I don't believe you're watching by accident or by coincidence, but you know, this is that season. Supposedly, love is in the air. You know, they say Valentine's Day is coming up, but beside all of that, I want you to know that God has something special for your life. You know, the little things that we think are so insignificant and going to be at rest. And it's not by accident you're watching. And I hope you're listening because the things that I've been telling you are going to come to pass. We're already seeing a manifestation of those things coming to pass. And you got to know this. Number 23, 19. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have they spoke it, shall he not do it? Have they said it? Shall he not make it good? I'm glad to serve a God who does absolutely everything he says he's going to do. Listen, I don't want to talk too much right now, but I'm asking you to get a hold of everybody you know. Tell them to turn to the Word Network, whether it's on Direct TV, I think that's 373. If it's on Comcast or something, 247, I don't know. Whatever channel it is, 57 monogamy thing. I really want to talk about it because we don't deal with it. And sometimes in the church, we stray away from it. But there are so many people in the body of Christ who have learned how to cope with their dysfunction. Believe it or not, God wants you happy. God wants you whole. God wants you to be married. Some of us, you know. Believe it or not, I'm going to be married one day. One day, way in the future, way in the future. <laughs> but praise God, we're just excited because I know something good is going to happen for you today. I literally feel a turn and a shifting. You know, last time I was here, I told you that the Spirit of God said that this is the season where He just wants us to worship Him. And I, I think that's local. I don't know. But anyway, if you have the Word Network, I'm asking you to right now. Dial your friend. Tell them to turn to it. Maybe go to your phone. Download the Word app. And you can look at it live. Right there from your cell phone. You can be in church. I'm not advising you to do that. Put the headphones in while you're doing whatever you're doing and look at it. Don't look at it while you're driving because you know I get happy every now and then. But I'm asking you, go ahead. Tell everybody you know. Turn to it. They still got some time. I have some wonderful guests that it's going to blow your mind, the things that we're going to talk about today. Are you ready? Well, up until then, right now, let's get ready for AG and the praise team. Lord, 